Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining me today. It's Tara here from By Tara Louise. I'm an artist and earring designer from Western Sydney in Australia. Today I'm going to show you how to do a little rainbow painting which is super fun and it's going to be full of bright colours and vibrant for you to hang on your wall or gift to someone special. All right, let's get started. All right, so the first thing that we're going to need for our rainbow painting is of course a couple of paint brushes. And I like to work with the smaller brushes because I'm using a canvas size um, that's a little bit smaller. So if I was going to be using a larger canvas, I'd probably opt for larger brushes. Uh, of course, we need a glass of water to uh, wash our brushes and some beautiful paints. The colours I'm using today, uh, I will leave in the comments below, but uh, we've got Matisse over here, Artelia. Uh, Liquitex and Holcroft. So um, those are just the straight colours, um, which I said again, I'll list those in the comments section. Um, as I go, you will see that I will mix them with some whites to get some shades and things as well. So yeah, let's see how we go. Okay, so I forgot to mention guys that you will need a lead pencil as well because the first thing we're going to do is map out our rainbows uh, for our canvas. So I'm using a double thick canvas. You can of course use single um, side thickness canvas or you can use canvas panels, canvas paper pad, um, those sorts of things as well. So you want to get your pencil and uh, you can do it landscape as well uh, or portrait, completely up to you. You can do as many or as little rainbows as you like. So I like to have at least four skinny rainbows on the bottom and then as I go up I'll make one kind of hang off the edge over here, make a really big one there, another larger one then maybe a small one here. So this is just a rough guide for you to start painting. You can change it because you are going to paint over it which is fine. It doesn't have to be, um, you know, 100% final. But yeah, you can make them any size you like. Up to the individual. Okay. There we go. I'm not sure if you, how well you can see the pencil there on the camera, but... That's all done. All right, so guys, we're gonna start painting now. We're gonna get our first color. You can wet your brush a little bit. And the idea is to have different colors in different rainbows. And so um, let's start with the, this is like a pinky purple, okay. So if you use a little bit of a uh, little bit of water, <laughs> rainbow water, <laughs> a little bit of water, yeah, it'll make it easier to apply for you. But keep in mind it will um, be a little bit more uh, opaque. So if you need to, you can go over it again with another um, coat.
All right, guys. So once we've gone ahead and done our first uh, coat for our rainbows, we're then going to go in and add lots of details. So as I mentioned at the beginning, oops, you can, um, this is completely up to you the way you do your rainbows. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to put the music back on and show you a little bit of work that I'm going to do for my rainbows and um, come back to you shortly.
All right, so I'm pretty happy with how that's looking now. And sorry, just sit that a bit. So what I'm going to do now is go in with a bit of a smaller brush. I'm going to add some little details inside the rainbows just to decorate them and uh, make them look a bit more fancy. So guys, while you're doing your dots, I mean, sorry, your patterns, you could do dots, if you like dots, circles, you can do lines, you can do little triangles, you can do squiggly lines, and you can make it look like a ray of sunshine. And the best part about doing the painting here is that you're enjoying the process. So even if you I'm not sure how it's going to look at the end. The most important part is the doing. So doing the painting and enjoying the actual process.
Hey guys, so I've gone ahead and finished all the finer details inside the rainbows now. So you can see here it's all complete. And um, yeah, I hope you guys have absolutely loved this tutorial today and it's brought a little bit of happiness and calm to you. I just want to mention as well the fluoros I was using is uh, from Montmartre and they come in packs of 10, I think, um, from memory. My pink's almost empty because it's my favourite, but you can get yeah, all the colours, um, yellow, red, green, blue and so on um, in that particular pack and they're super bright and gorgeous. Um, as you can see, I use quite a lot of the fluoros today. I haven't used that many before, but I think it pops quite well. So yeah, if you'd like to follow along with everything that I'm doing, uh, you can follow me on Instagram, which is at ByTaraLouise. You can shop online at www.ByTaraLouise.com.au. And yeah, uh, subscribe below. Thanks guys. Bye.